Yo, 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 what's good, world? Y'all already know who it is, man. It's your boy, Geo Banks, man. Back with another one like I never left, man. The Anything Podcast, the Everything Podcast, man. I'm bringing y'all all the content, man. I'm bringing y'all all the stuff, man. This one right here, man, this is an update on your boy, Rich Homie Quan, man. The police is feeling that they're being played around with. You got to understand. Check this out. They talked to his daddy. Then they talked to the brother and everyone else to get a different sides of the story. That's how they do. They're not going to bring you all in one room and all y'all form an agreement together. And once they got the information from the pops, they started talking to the brother. The brother was like, man, I don't smoke. I don't do nothing. I don't, he don't do none of this to him. He already knew he was he, he was playing because he already talked to the daddy. The daddy already told him. So he already knew something wasn't right. What they saying now is they saying that the brother might have something to do with it. And if you ask me, things don't sound right between the girlfriend, the brother. Then if y'all seen the videos of all the people that was coming in and out, they was just trying to leave. Them mothers ain't want no smoke with the police. They ain't want to talk about it. I mean, you got to think about it. In a time like this, people should be sad. They should be on the couch. Everybody be crying, trying to talk to the police. These mothers is all trying to dip. They said, look, man, we, ain't, we don't need no smoke with that. It's time to get out of here. It's time to go. But if you was alive, they wouldn't be trying to go. They'd be trying to turn up and get resources. So you got to put two and two together on why the police think that. They think that there's something fishy going on and something ain't adding up. Two plus two ain't adding up to four. Two plus two is adding up to 12 right now. And they're going to get to the bottom of it, whether they got to bring baby mama, brother, and dad. I mean, if they if it takes for them to bring it, they got all the names of everybody that was dead. Them dude, them, the women and, and the girls, they, they was all trying to leave. And they were trying to dip, trying to get out their house. And they got all of their names. So letting y'all know it's going to be something going down serious than what people think. You know, um, they know who gave that stuff to him. I mean, come on, man. It ain't like he just went and called somebody around the corner real quick. He ain't never met or pulled up at the gas station and said, hey, man, what's up, man? No, dude, this, he's a more known person than that that don't. And can't move like that. He knew where he got that from. He was comfortable with doing it. He's been doing it. You know, they say he's been trying to get better. And uh, whoever gave it to him that time had that fit in there. And that's what's taking a lot of people away, man. It's a sad thing, man. Like, you know, we all going through it with that, man. You know, a lot of our friends and stuff like that, man. They, you know. It's a, it's a tough pill to swallow, man. And um, all you can do is pray at that point, man. But I'm letting y'all know now, the police, they, they think something fishy going on. They not believing every word that they saying, man. And uh, how your boy Ross says, it's deeper than rap, man. Y'all got to check this one out, man. Let me know what y'all think on this one, man. This is it's weird. I mean, I felt that same way. I Like I said, I'm neutral, man. I don't really like to... You know, I give out y'all the information, man. We could talk about it in the comments. Or we could talk about it on the live or something like that with our opinions and stuff like that. But, you know, I'm not I'm not the type of person. I'm not just going to go heavy and go, yeah, he did it. She she was involved. They wanted his bread. to took the, you know, the cash from whatever he passed away. Is, you know, it, I'm, not, I'm not getting it all. I'm not getting all that. All we're going to do is get out the information that's out, and I'm providing it to y'all. And, you know, we can all... You know, put our opinions on things and such, but we got to do it respectfully at the same time. We won't dare. We don't know what's going on in any of these situations that we're talking about that I post up on here. We won't dare. We don't know. You know, so we can't just say 100 percent. But Oh, yeah, that's what happened You know, until more evidence come out to where, you know, something's 100 percent efficient and right and that's when it's like, OK, I can dominantly say that this is, you know, what happened, you know. Right now, you know, you, you got your hypothesis, man, and you know, you, you're trying to get a you're trying to get that theory, you're trying to get it down packed to where it's just, this is where it is. So I'm gonna keep this door open. How they say keep the back door open, which you don't do, you know, but you know, you just gotta be open to hearing other things besides what you think might have happened. So, 
y'all check this one out. Let me know what y'all think on this one, man. It's crazy. Drop in the comments. Let's comment on this, man. Let's chat about this. Let's talk about it, man. Let's run it up, man. While you at it, man, I want to say I appreciate all y'all love, support as always, man. You already know that. You already know that. And I'm going to say one more thing. Y'all already know what I'm going to say. <laughs> y'all know what I'm going to say. Get me hyped up, man. Run the subscribers up, man. Run it up, run it up, run it up. Run it up, man. As always, man. Appreciate y'all, man. Love y'all, man. Peace and love, man. Stay warm, stay safe out there. Stay blessed. I'm going to holler at y'all on the next one, man. I'm out. The streets are talking, and they're saying something that ain't right. Now, here's where it gets even crazier. After dropping that tasteless IG post, Andre's been MIA. Nobody's seen him, and there's even talk that he skipped town. It's like he dropped a bomb on social media and then vanished into thin air. Some folks are speculating that he's on the run, but from what? That's the million-dollar question, fam. Is he feeling guilty about something, or is he just trying to avoid the media circus? Either way, it's not a good look. It, it was them pills. It was them pills. And, and it wasn't a lot of pills because he just came back from out of town. He just got back from out of town. And, and, and at the end of the day, when he took that shit, when he right. took that shit on Wednesday night, right. when he took that shit on Wednesday night, I don't give a fuck. That girlfriend, she know who gave it to him, when they gave it to him, and, 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 and where he got it from. So it's all up to her to spill the beans on what the fuck happened mm -hmm. and where he got it from. Now, let me ask you this question. Now, did you hear? I'm pretty sure you did. You heard the 911 call, didn't you? Uh, yeah, I heard it. What's your, yeah, thought? it. What's your thoughts on that? My thoughts on that is just, it, it's, it's, it's normal. You know why, you know why I'm going to say it's normal? Mm -hmm. Because when you, it's normal for you to just go to bed without that nigga. That's true. That's true. That's, that's true. That's true. That's true. It's normal. I mean, that's I'm, I'm, I'm going to leave true. you on, on, on the spot. I'm going to leave you right here. When you wake up, you get up, you come to bed, you don't come to bed. Hey, I'm going to holler at you in the morning. And, and, and I feel like it was genuine. Only thing I thought, only thing that I can say, 100, I just put, I just put it down for her to put it out. Where he got it from, when he took it, and who he got it from. Period. Because on G Street, on G Street, we connect from G Street. Because we call it family. We call it family on G Street, no matter what. So let me ask this question. Hold on. So 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 nobody else died from that though. Let's 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 talk about it. Nobody else died from it, right? Did anybody die today? No. Yesterday? Mm -mm. But but no. so, so my point is so so if everybody know where it's coming from, uh, allegedly, allegedly, we, we, this is live, allegedly. How is it that he's the one that got the dirty batch? Okay, okay, listen, listen, listen to this. Yes, listen to this. 100, he got cousins, nephews, and everything that was with him. They were doing the same thing. I said the same thing. But at the end of the day, who knows where he got it from when he came from out of town? He just come from out of town. Mm. He's been out of town. So he could have, it could have been separate. He could have already had some shit. From out of town. Yeah. Yeah. And I'm thinking yeah. that's where he got it from. He got it from, because the niggas. Cousins, brothers, ain't who he was with. Like you, on the 911 call, you hear old boy say, Where at? Yeah. It's, the, it, it's always with this nigga. I'm talking about 24 7. He's with him. So why he ain't there when he left? So he probably seen him fucking um, croak, die, respectfully, rest in peace, and, and, and bounce. That's what I'm saying. But but what I'm saying is, we don't, we don't know. Because guess what? The family ain't even seen it. I was about to ask that. House. No, so nobody ain't seen him since. Nobody ain't seen nope. it since. Nope. There nope. you have it. Nope. It's, it's... And you said it. I can't say it no better than that. Mm. But at the end of the day, I'm going the end of the day, I bet you I don't sell no dope to nobody I don't know. Right. I bet you that. That's true. Absolutely. You know why? You know why I ain't going to sell nothing to nobody I don't know? Because I don't know you. Right. That's a fact. Know, That's the first rule. I don't know you. You I, don't get served. Yeah, I don't know you, so you don't get served. You could be anybody. Did you ever meet um his girlfriend, his baby mom's, Rich Homie Kwan's? Yes. All these other people that's in the street, that they, they just they just play chop.
clout chase. At the end of the day, it was only one, and that was the one that you heard on the tape. The rest of the folk was just getting money. Now, That's it. Go ahead, I'm sorry. Yeah, they just get money. It was just getting money. Every everybody that you see that's posting shit was just getting money. That's it. Right. You can tell that Rich Homie Quan was doing his thing as well. Right? We don't know, we don't know what's going on at home, their relationship or whatnot. You understand what I'm saying? But yeah. he's on live and, and, and he's kissing on Erica Banks and um sending the the the, the, the uh the, the inbox is saw that I, I wanted to holler at you, but I ain't want to get rejected and um the, the other the other girl and all it's that all shit. about money. It's all about money, Mike. It don't even matter. It's all about that bread. It, it, That's true. I mean, I, it's all about money. It, it doesn't matter. Just what I just. Huh? Shepherd. Is Shepherd it? out here? No. no. Shepherd or Warthen? Which one? Shepherd. Who is that? The other investigator. Homicide investigator. No, he's not here. He's not here. Oh shit. We got Ziggy for some of the 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 one with the bald head. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But he went inside. No, no, no. The other investigator that was on the scene that they was like, we don't know where he at. Where is he? They was like, where he at? Why? You know, he was like, where he at? And he was like, he's not there. So they was they was looking for a specific. They was looking for a specific detective. Why does it matter which one? They all detectives give them the information. That's making me think maybe that other person could have been. You feel me? Look. Let's get it together. This other investigator, the one that they were saying, oh, he got skin tone like you. Him. I don't know his name. I don't have a picture of him. I don't know his name. Give me his energy. That that other detective. Can that other detective be trusted? Was he on his job? Was he doing what he was supposed to do? Travel. I don't know. Maybe he could have been somewhere else. It's movement doing, you know. Gossip, what's at the bottom of the deck? Probably not. There's secrets regarding him, too. And you know what? He's probably... Bro. <laughs> bro. That other detective, that's why they was looking for him. That's why they was looking for him in particular. They was like, I'm going to find the video and I'm going I'm to put it. I think I already did. I don't know if the whole thing... Um, uh, I don't. I had to look to see if I if I put the whole video with the interaction between them. If I only cut it, but them girls was like, "Oh, where's the other dude?" And they was, uh, and he was like, "Um, he's not here." They, or he was like, "He's in there." And they was like, "No, he ain't." Like they was, they was really looking for him. Like they was looking for him. There is a secret that's involved. Um, that other, the other detective too. Look, crime cover up is it pertains to job and work. Job work. The clouds is confusion, negativity, unclarity, uncertainty, crime, threat, cover-up. That other detective cannot be trusted, cannot be trusted. And just put some terror on him. This other detective. What do we need to know about this other detective? The other detective that no one seemed to see, you know, I mean, I'm pretty sure he was there, but... Look, lost opportunity, mischance, lack of plan, and lack of foresight. The Ace of Pentacles talks about um, a missed opportunity in some kind of way. Um, the Knight of Swords um, make impulsive decisions, unpredictable. Okay, we got the Page of Cups. It talks about um, someone that's insecure. It can talk about being... Um, emotionally insecure like childish the ace of swords talks on mental clarity breakthroughs truths it can also talk about con new conflicts as well as true but truth why is this ace of swords here why is this ace of swords here look bro feeling restricted mentally feeling like feeling stressed out trapped feel like like in your head empress speed movement quick communication king of pentacles one more what's this fruit okay this is the nine 
okay like being successful and being independent i feel like he was out on like i don't know he could have been let me see it talks about distrust and not uh, not being on the same page I don't, I don't 100% trust him. Give me his energy. Is he someone that can be trusted? Is he, did he have Quan's best interest? Maybe he was just wanting to know the best interest. There's something about a woman here. And look, this always coming up as, as pertains to this woman taking stuff. A loss, a decrease. Give me his energy. Why was he so concerned, bro? He can't be trusted either. He was probably concerned about trying to get stuff moved out too. Get this stuff to the lady. Worried about, you know, like, damn, I got to, bro. He can't be trusted either. Who else? Okay. Um, okay. Give me the relationship between, because they, I mean, he had let the engineer inside. I think he was inside of there. And I'm just, you know, I don't know. Being that the engineer was inside of there, did it have anything to do with trying to, you know, disrupt the investigation? Like, in any way, deter the investigation in any type of way? Being that he was in there, that they let him stay in there? Because he wasn't supposed to be in there. Did that deter the investigation in any way? A choice. Okay, it talks about burden. It can talk about a religion and a sacrifice. This is, I think this is him. Give me his energy for being in the house with the detective. Anytime I see the Skype, I just think of negativity. This Lily's just coming up and it's like, I think he was there because he wanted to report what was going on. Like, he wanted to tell them, like, what was going on, trying to see what was going on so he can let them know what was going on. Who else am I missing? Okay, Andre. Andre, the brother. Give me his energy as it pertains to that night. Because I don't know if I... I don't remember, like, asking about particular people in the last reading. I was just... You know letting whatever comes out comes out travel for work he said he was gone doing something with a van or something like that trying to get some pieces with a van fixed or something okay the the, the kid can the child can talk about um, innocence. It could talk about a beginning. It could talk about um, a, a new beginning or a, actually a child as well too. There's also something about an opportunity here. This could talk about a, a new beginning and an opportunity or it can talk about an actual physical child. Give me Andre's energy that night that Rich Homie Kwan passed away. Okay, friendship, business, finance. Something about money, finance, business, and friendship. Oh, well, I'm hearing like switch to debt. He can't be trusted either, bro. He can't be trusted either. Like, he cannot be fucking trusted, bro. Look at all these cards, bro. Snake, theft, wanting to take from him, sacrifice, conflict, debate, confrontation. Solution to an issue. He got secrets too. He got secrets. What is the secret? Dang, I should have did him in the beginning because now I'm rushing. What is the secret about Andre, the brother? What is the secret about Andre, the brother, as it pertains to day dad, which Tommy Kwan passed away? What is the secret? What is the secret? Hmm. 
Hmm. That's the secret. He definitely has something to do with it. Danger, pain, injury, intentions. There's something about travel and communication with travel as well, too. Seeing a relationship, money. He's the fox in this situation. Deceptive. Can't be trusted. He can't be trusted. Okay. Amber. The baby mama. I kind of want to put some cards on the one he was on the phone with. She the one that told the daddy that he was uh, uh, the other bit. Okay, Amber. I'm trying to do this fast. Amber. Travel, movement, communication. Fox. Of course, they were um, involved with each other sexually. And boom, the crime, the threat, cover up. Sneaky. Sneaky energy. She got sneaky energy too. Snake. She cannot be trusted at all. Let's pull a stack and see if there's anything else. Don't know why I seen shot. Friends hurt me, talent, book a year, and something about shot. Maybe he's telling me some new stuff that's going to happen in, um, and I don't know why I keep seeing child abuse, bro. Like with the kids, that keeps coming up. Something about the daytime, and look, cover up. There's something that's going to happen in the year. I don't know. Um, Maybe this book can come out in the year. I don't know. But maybe some this can happen to somebody in a year. Maybe he's trying to give me a warning. I don't know about somebody. Um, Let me get one more. Animal. There's something about an animal. One more. One more. Needed medical care. He needed medical care. They didn't give him that medical care. They were sitting up there watching him, waiting for him to, you know, wither away. But you guys, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and I will see you guys in the next reading. Please tell me if there's anything that I'm missing. If there's something else that I need to bring up and pull cards on, please let me know. Good court eight. Yeah, we got uh, to have to just take a picture of the search warrant inside the house, and then we're done. Okay. So, uh, but everybody's free to... Would they still yeah. bring their warrant? Yeah, that's the only thing we got to do, is just take a picture of that in the house, and then we're done. All right. I mean, because really, because really, by law, you ain't supposed to go in there without no, 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 a warrant. No, the warrant yeah. was signed by the judge. Was already. But you got to show us here, before you go here. in, though, right? No, no. As long as it's the warrant is signed by the judge, no, no, no. then you're good. Oh. All right. Okay, and then another thing. Why is Quick coming out of the house with the homicide detective? When there's an investigation and they check in the house, there should be nobody inside the house or around the crime scene when they are doing their investigation. Why is he walking out with the detective? Please make that make sense. As far as I'm concerned, he is one of... The people that was in the house, and he should be considered as a suspect. Why is he walking out with a detective? There shouldn't have been no one in the house. Why he the only one that's in the house? That's what I want to know. Why was he in the house? Everybody else on the curb, but he in the house. I want. That's one of the questions I want to know. And I really wish that police officer was in the house too. I wish that he was inside of the house so we could have got the footage to see what them CSI crime investigators, like what they picked up and stuff like that. Follow. I'm a, I'm a, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. What's your name, boss? Yeah. What's your name? I need to say something? Yeah, just need your name because we're in the house. I'm, I'm a I mean, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Otherwise, if you don't want to talk to me, you're going to talk to somebody else. Gonna take them off. Okay. <laughs> This is why I saw him at. He was asleep right here, though. But I, I don't know if he had knocked himself out of whip. He was snoring. Mm -hmm. He was snoring? Yeah, he was just snoring. So I tried okay. to wake him up and he moved. Like I said, he'd been in deep sleeps before, so I, just okay. picked, I picked him up. And I made him on the couch. Yeah, yeah. I had to lay him down like this. Is this what? 
they had called and said his phone was still up, so when I got here, that was there. I don't know that. I'm sure it came from him because it wasn't there before. So he's, he said his phone? Yeah, phone and it's still up. Okay. And what time did they call you? Who called you? Uh, quit. Uh, the engineer. Because I was I was out trying to get the AC fixed on the van. So, so I'm so the, I'm the engineer, engineer called you? Yes, sir. Who's the, who's the engineer? So I was, F I R A S. F I R A S. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Quick. Q U I C K? Yes, sir. What's, you know, his phone number? Okay, I right, got his number. Trying to see what time he called me. He called me at 11.37 and told me to rush home. 11.37? Yes, sir. How long was he down for? Who? He said 11.37? Told you to rush home? Yeah, man, but I guess they they had called the EMS too already. Okay. So I don't know, you know. He told you to rush home? Yeah. All right. All right, and he was here? I guess they, I guess. By the time everybody came to check on him, I don't know if he was foaming and laying down or if the uh, the ambulance moved him or not. I don't know. Okay. I All just right. know Look, one night. Let me explain this here. I'm not the drug police. I know you do. Where, where is, like, I know you took some prescription. Xanax last night or whatever. Where's all that stuff? I don't, what do you that's why I don't know nothing about none of that. Who, who, who lives here? here? You stay, stay here? You stay here? Yeah. You stay here? But okay. most of that stuff he keep on his person because we don't we don't really like a lot. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Because this happened before, like you know. It, okay. It was a bad right. problem before, so we he tried to keep it away from us type shit. So you say you had a history of this? It was um, really pretty bad. I know bad. he's an entertainer. Yeah, not but. bad, but you know everybody dibbling and dab. So I got you. I got you. Okay. All right. Is this the only person who was over here? Yeah, from the kitchen. Because he was eating that food. Okay. That's the food he was eating. Okay. Is there anything I, different about, about the food is that he no. usually eats? Did he eat anything, Mike? Yeah, he ate yesterday. Okay. That's what he was munching on? That's his food? He was eating all day yesterday. So. That's his food? All right. Run through, run through what happened real quick to me. You want to go over here and talk about it? Okay. Uh, like you say, was, where were you at when you when found you called, him? I told him you called me because he was spitting up. So from there. Oh yeah, I was I, at that time. I was doing CPR. No, before that, it was back back up about a, when was the last time you saw him alive? Uh, last uh, this earliest one like three, four in the morning. Okay, all right. Yeah, so, it was all uh, up. Hey, that's okay, let's talk over here. Let's talk over here. Come on. Oh. Did you uh? Will y'all will y'all doing anything? Look, once again, I said much drug police. I don't really care. Will y'all doing nah, any drugs or smoking anything? Uh, nah, nah, I know y'all. He said your dad said y'all smoked a blunt. Yeah, maybe, but any at pills that time, or anything like that? Huh? Any pills or anything? Nah. Okay. Did you see him do any pills? I didn't see. Him. Okay. So at three or four o'clock in the morning. So do you you live here as well? Uh. When I'm working, uh, I'm, I'm his, uh, one of his producers and engineers. Okay, so where were you after we a, 3 o'clock in the morning? You went to sleep? Yeah, well, I was up in the um, watching TV like to I pass out. I okay. probably passed out like 5. 5. And what time did you notice him on the ground, you think? I didn't notice him on the ground. So who, 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 so who called, you called him? So who told no, you? No, no, he didn't. He, he heard snoring and he came downstairs. It was loud. And that's when he saw him right there. Okay. Dre. Yes, sir. And who called you at 1137 to tell you to come home? Quick. That was this morning. That was this morning. Oh, so you passed him snoring. No, yeah, no. So like, when, I, when I left this morning, he was still snoring. He was sleeping. It was Where at? And on the sofa. Oh, on the sofa. Oh. Yeah, I picked him up at like three or four this morning. Three or four this morning he was this over morning. here. And then you put him on and the couch. I saw his food, and I, like I said, I saw the food in his mouth. I'm like, man, I know he can fall asleep. You know what I'm saying? Sleep. I mean, okay. I can fall asleep eating. So I picked him up, I tried to wake him up, and he didn't get up, which he's done that before. So, I so, so let me let me get the timeline straight. Three or four o'clock in the morning, you pick him up, put him on the couch, everybody go to sleep. Come back down. I was not ready. Everybody sleep. He, he was like, sleep. Yeah. Everybody sleep except him. him. So who found him on the couch? Oh, his girl. His, his, girl. His, his girl. His girl. You know what time that was? That right before we got the call? It had to be around the time. But you got a call at eleven thirty-four to come home. Right. 
Yeah. So it was around, around that, that time. time. Yeah, around that time. And he was foaming and stuff. Well, I'm gonna give him CPR and, and stuff, stuff coming, started coming, coming out. out. Okay, purge and all that stuff. Yeah. Okay. And that was around 11:30, 11:40, something like that. When we got the 911 call. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. Okay. All right. Thank you. We'll be back. We're gonna. We we'll probably have some more questions. We'll be back. Does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. No, nah, like with his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. I would. I would call somebody if I ain't know. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. If, if, if it didn't look normal, I would have been there. One comment put it straight. Most people would have been like, "Wake up! Why are you on the floor?" Or the brother and the people took him out, then took the picture job done for money. Fans are saying that the brother is hiding something, and there is this wild theory that the brother might have been paid to take out Quan and prevent him from testifying against Young Thug in the YSL Rico case. Now here's where it gets real wild. After all this drama with the body cam footage and people asking questions about Andre Munford's role in Quan's death, homies gone missing. Not even a statement or nothing to clear things up. This is looking mad suspicious if he didn't do nothing wrong why he ducking it's like he knows he's in hot water and decided to go silent the autopsy report came back and it's not pretty rich homie Quan had a toxic mix of substances in his system we're talking fentanyl alprazolam codeine promethazine and thc that's a deadly combo right there but here's the thing with all those people in the house how did nobody notice he was in trouble it's like they either didn't care or they knew exactly what was going down one comment sums it up i feel like that they know what happened and who sold him the drugs and they were getting their story together before they called the police because it's clear that the so-called brother knew he was dead when he picked him up off the floor and put him on the couch the police said he sleep with his eyes like that and the brother said yay gt foo rich homie done it to himself but they know something kwan's dad is the only one showing real concern in this whole mess it's like he knows something ain't right with the official story one user even noted that the dad is the only one that showed concern i hate this for him because this is suspicious as f we all saw the dad in tears talking about his son's passing waiting for the autopsy report and even claiming he's going to look for a second opinion that's a father who knows something's off i, I can't i can't i'm not at liberty to speak on it uh, just because I, I don't know my, my son could die from something else so that's something i would not speak on i got you but has this one, but, but once the results are available and i do a second opinion Meanwhile, at Quan's funeral, Andre Munford was up there talking about how Quan changed his life, took him from 285 Old National to the East Side. Also, don't you find it weird the way he captioned Quan's death on his IG with laughing emojis? He hit us with this caption, my twin fat shoe, didn't share no clothes no more, but he damn sure asked me, how does it look? Like, come on, man, that looks like how I wore it. I'ma miss your doggy with a couple of laughing emojis. Then there's the 911 call that Quan's baby mama Amber made. Fans are saying she seemed way too calm. I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. If there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, oh, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. People can't agree on what really went down. Some are saying nobody wanted to talk to the cops because they didn't want to go down for an OD. One comment put it blunt. I'm pretty sure none of them wanted to talk to the cops because he OD. Ain't nobody trying to go to jail for a someone Odin. One thing's for sure. Nobody's buying that Quan just fell asleep with his eyes open. The streets are saying the brother knew he was dead when he picked him up off the floor and put him on the couch. The feds just lit a fire under this case and the heat's coming for rich homie Quan's brother. But now I want to know your thoughts in all this. Why did the brother take pictures instead of calling for help why was everyone in the house acting so casual about finding Quan unresponsive and most importantly where is Andre Munford he doesn't appear to be alert or conscious so they took him to the hospital there's no pulse as of yet so they will let me know the 40 I'm just advising what I got for now oh so he's been transported to the hospital for medical treatment he was not 48 when he got to the house no, he wasn't alert, conscious, no breathing when I got to the house. And there's nothing suspicious when you got there surrounding his need for medical attention? Uh, I mean, Grady was already working on him by the time I got there, because I got there before me. Uh, basically, when I'm sitting, they had him on the floor, on the couch. I didn't see anything suspicious, but the only thing that, uh, you know, they showed me a picture of him when uh, they brought me a picture of him 
where to pick them up on the floor, uh, you know, sometime last night, I mean this morning, but they said, uh, you know, he fell asleep with the food in his mouth, and the way his eyes look, it, you know, it was kind of weird, but I asked him, you know, does he sleep like that with his eyes open like that, and they said, yeah, that's how you sleep, um, but they said that the male, you know, it's, it's like he fell, it, it looks like he fell, but it felt, it looks like he fell on the floor, but the way the male were looking, it was kind of like, you know, the male was on the floor too, so they, they found something, they found it kind of weird, but they didn't think nothing of it. Yeah. That's your kids? Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. okay. That's what you was munching on? That's his food? He's eating all day yesterday, so. That's his food? Uh, yeah, uh, I'll, I'll, food that was eating, so. yeah, I'll confirm anything. Is he allergic to seafood by any chance? Yeah. yeah right? uh -huh. Just trying to make yeah. it make sense, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, so. I woke up in the middle of the morning. I moved them, I moved them, I texted them. I moved them, I moved them. I moved them. Yeah, so that's how you want to show the picture? Hey, I'm Messiah. I'm on a 47 call at 4680 and then 4 is Drive Southwest. Uh, I got called out here. Uh, uh, girlfriend stated that um, this morning she woke up around like 6.45, 7 o'clock to drop her kids off to school. And uh, she noticed that um, her uh, baby father was asleep on the couch. Uh, it was breathing like very hard. Uh, cover him up. They didn't think nothing of it. Uh, she stated that when she came back, he was still breathing. Uh, she went to bed, uh, woke up around like 11 o'clock. And uh, when she went downstairs and uh, she touched him, and uh, she noticed that uh, his body was cold. Uh, that's when she called 911. I spoke to several people in the house, uh, including his brother and uh, his engineer. Uh, the brother stated that uh, the, they saw him on the floor around like three, four o'clock in the morning this morning. Uh, you know, he was, uh, you know, sleep, breathing. Uh, no, he was sleeping, breathing uh, with no issues. And uh, he picked him up and put him on, uh, on the couch. Um, then uh, that's what I got for now. Uh, he doesn't have uh, any underlying disease, uh, any medical issues or anything. And uh, I asked him, do you take anything? They said, no, you don't think he took anything. But the last thing that he actually ate was uh, some food that he ordered from, possibly from DoorDash. Okay, you said you were where again? I'm sorry. Okay, what's the name and they of the decedent? It's not deceased as of yet. Uh, they took him to the hospital. Uh, but one degrading and fire were unseen. They're working on him. He did it does appear he doesn't appear to be alert or conscious. So they took him to the hospital. There's no pulse as of yet. So they will let me know if the forty eight. I'm just advising what I got for now. Oh, so he's been transported to the hospital for medical treatment. He was not 48 when he got to the house. No, he wasn't alert, conscious, no breathing when I got to the house. And there's nothing suspicious when you got there surrounding his need for medical attention? Uh, I mean, Greedy was already working on him by the time I got there because they got there before me. Uh, based on what I'm seeing, they had him on the floor, on the couch. I didn't see anything suspicious, but the only thing that, uh, you know, they showed me a picture of him when uh, his brother showed me a picture of him where they picked him up on the floor, uh, you know, sometime last night. I mean, this morning. But they said, uh, you know, he fell asleep with the food in his mouth. And the way his eyes look, it, you know, it was kind of weird. But I asked him, you know, does he sleep like that with his eyes open like that? And they said, yeah, that's how you sleep. Um, but they said that the male, you know, it's, it's like he fell. It, it looks like he fell, but it felt, it looks like he fell on the floor. But the way the male were looking, it was kind of like, you know, the male was on the floor too. So they, they found something, they found it kind of weird, but they didn't think nothing of it.
Okay, what I'm asking is, is, does he have any, he didn't have any gunshot wounds, no stab wounds, no, like, blunt force trauma or anything like that? Negative. Hi, Bobby, and how old is he? 34 year old. Stand by, I think the other officer called me right now. Yo. Is that how old? Yeah. What you said? <laughs> He's 34 years old. What you said? What's your, yeah, I'm, I'm okay, talking to Homicide right Harvey. now. Yeah, what, and, yeah. Um, and he mm -hmm. was transported to Grady for further medical treatment. Um, I would do a, an information report. Yeah, okay. Um, just in case, you know, he does 48 and we have it documented. Um, yeah, just do a 39 and just notate everything that you observed and, you know, non-miscellaneous crime information report. I uh, copy. What's your unit? Uh, what's your unit number? Your name? Four one two three. Four them. W o r t h a m. Uh, just notate in the narrative what Grady Bus transported him. Also, please. I uh, copy. Yeah, what you saying, Riz? Cause there's a lot going on. I mean, they they want to play as a thirty nine for now, but this is not alert. I mean, if it was not alert and conscious, they would have called it. What? Yeah, it's not forty forty eight exactly. So if it was not alert conscious, they would have called it. So I you'll still believe Quan overdosed. Wait, you was doing tracks at the time? Yeah, for sure. Uh, uh, you know what I'm saying? Like, you know what I'm saying? I smoke weed, but I was doing, like, you know, different shit. Nah, I ain't no putting nothing in my nose. Uh -huh. <laughs> 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 I'm saying, nigga, I'm putting no such shit. I'm going to mind it. Okay, good. Yeah, that's what you got to say. You stop that now. Yeah, I, I mean, I've been on mind. I've been clean on mind for, like, six years. That's dope, bro. That's progression. Yeah, yeah. Next going to be the, you going to stop smoking? Fuck. Uh, no. Now, I ain't never heard nobody OD die on smoking. Nah, 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 you can't. How many cars you got? Um, oh, man. Does he speak? I don't want her coming out at all. They aren't. So you got him on the Yeah, I put him on the sofa. Because he was snoring. He was snoring. He was still snoring. He was asleep. Like, and I see he had food in his mouth. I'm like, how the fuck you fall asleep with food in his mouth? Is this food day? This is the food day was eating? Look at this. Does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. Nah, like with his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. I would I would have called somebody if I ain't know. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. I, if, if, if it didn't look normal, I would have been there. Mm -hmm. But like I've seen him sleep like that before. But with the mouths and stuff like that, yeah. When I got up just now, so you saw him last on the sofa or the floor? Sofa. They told me to put him on the floor. On the floor. But I put him on the sofa. Okay. I'm the one that dragged him and put him right here. Okay, okay. Okay. You come from Oka. Then you, when he came back from dropping the kids to school, you went upstairs? No, I went back in our room. You went back in our room? Yeah, okay, but when, I came, when he came back, he was still asleep. You were still asleep, okay. So he came back around what time? Like 8, 15, 8, 30. 8, 15, 8, 30, was still sleeping? Okay. Then for, um, I did, I did. Uh, the Quantis Lamar. The Quantis. Is that which one the Quantis? Rich homie Quan brother was moving suspicious whole time like nothing happened.
With all those people in the house, how did nobody notice he was in trouble? It's like they either didn't care or they knew exactly what was going down. One comment sums it up. I feel like that they know what happened and who sold him the drugs and they were getting their story together before they called the police because it's clear that the so-called brother knew he was dead when he picked him up off the floor and put him on the couch. The police said he sleep with his eyes like that and the brother said, yay GT food. Rich homie done it to himself, but they know something. Quan's dad is the only one showing real concern in this whole mess. It's like he knows something ain't right with the official story. One user even noted that the dad is the only one that showed concern. I hate this for him because this is suspicious as F. We all saw the dad in tears talking about his son's passing, waiting for the autopsy report, and even claiming he's going to look for a second opinion. That's a father who knows something's off. I, I can't, I can't, I'm not at liberty to speak on it. I just because I, I don't know, my, my son could have died from something else, so that's something I would not speak on. I got you. But, Hands, this one, is but, but once the results are available, and I do a second of him. Meanwhile, at Quan's funeral, Andre Munford was up there talking about how Quan changed his life, took him from 285 Old National to the East Side. Also, don't you find it weird the way he captioned Quan's death on his IG with laughing emojis? He hit us with this caption: "My twin fat shoe didn't share no clothes no more, but he damn sure asked me how this look. Like, come on, man, that looks like how I wore it. I'ma miss your doggy with couple of laughing emojis." Then there's the 911 call that Quan's baby mama Amber made. Fans are saying she seemed way too calm. I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool and he's in the living room. And I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turned him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. <laughs> I'm sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um. Okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. People can't agree on what really went down. Anything that might stand out? Any commotion or anything like that? Okay. Anybody else? Where you were? No. No, okay. Oh, did you did you spend a night here or did you no, you say you said you came here? Okay. So what time did you come? Like around That's afternoon? You, I don't remember. I don't know. No, maybe noon, maybe. Noon? Yeah, okay. Maybe. Was there a lot of people here when you came? I wasn't paying attention. Okay, what was the purpose of your visit? So now we've got a whole crew in the house. There's Keela Brown, the brother, an engineer we never heard about before, and Quan's girlfriend. That's at least four people who were there when Quan was in trouble. But nobody thought to call for help when they saw Quan on the floor with food in his mouth and eyes still open. Uh, his brother, he's in the house. Okay. Um, his engineer was here. Okay. And um, his um, girl, his kid's mom. His kid's mom. And as you already know, the internet is running wild with speculation. One comment that hit hard was the one that said, man, that girl the brother in on it and it gotta be more they know wtf they did bro and crazy they had to put it in his food she put that blanket over him so the kids wouldn't see him that man's dead body language don't lie according to some Quan fans it's like all these people were trying to cover for each other even the police weren't feeling this he was just sleeping story from the jump they saw enough red flags to bring in homicide detectives that's not something they do for a regular od case and check this out the brother had pictures of Quan on the floor with his eyes open who takes pictures instead of helping? When the cops asked about it, the brother said that he sleeps like that sometimes. Does he sleep like that? He sleep hard. No, nah, like with his eyes like that. Yeah, he sleep hard. I would, I would call somebody if I ain't know. You know what I'm mean? saying? Like, yeah. If, 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 if it didn't look normal, I would have been there. One comment put it straight. Most people would have been like, "Wake up! Why are you on the floor?" Or the brother and the people took him out, then took the picture job done for money. Fans are saying that the brother is hiding something, and there is this wild theory that the brother might have been paid to take out Quan and prevent him from testifying against Young Thug in the YSL Rico case. Now here's where it gets real wild. After all this drama with the body cam footage and people asking questions about Andre Munford's role in Quan's death, homie's gone missing. Not even a statement or nothing to clear things up. This is looking mad suspicious. If he didn't do nothing wrong, why he ducking? It's like he knows he's in hot water and decided to go silent. No 
Now following the passing of Atlanta iconic rapper Rich Homie Kwan, who passed away from an overdose at the age of 34, new information has come out about the moments prior to him being discovered deceased. Now make sure you like, comment, and subscribe and watch this whole entire video so that you don't miss nothing. Now it was more than just a 911 call made from his girlfriend who discovered his cold body lying on the couch. She said she woke up and realized Lamar was not in the bedroom. When she went downstairs, she noticed a rapper asleep on the couch. When she got back from dropping the kids off, the report says that his girlfriend saw him on the couch believing he was asleep and she went back up to bed to go back to sleep. Then at 11 a.m., she woke back up and went back to the couch to check on him, the incident report revealed. That's when she noticed that his body was cold and he did not appear to be breathing. She immediately called 911, the incident report said. I need an ambulance. Tell me exactly what happened. Um, my boyfriend, he's been asleep on the couch. Um, since this morning, well, he never came to bed last night, sleep on the couch. I left him on the couch before I took my son to school this morning and put a blanket over him. And now I just checked on him again because he never got up. I don't feel a heartbeat. I don't see him breathing. And you said, hold on, you said on the couch and what happened? I said I put a cover over him because he gets a little cool in the piece in the living room. And now I just checked on him because I see he never got up. And I don't see him breathing. I don't feel a heartbeat or anything. And I turn him over. I see he kind of foamed at the mouth. I'm sorry. Are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes. Yes. Okay, ma'am. Um, if there's yes. a defibrillator available, send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Is there a what? If there's a defibrillator available. Send someone to get it now and tell me when you have it. Um, I'm not sure what that is. Um, okay, I'm sending the paramedics to help you now. Stay on the line and I'll tell you exactly what to do next. Okay. I need to know about how old um, he is. He's um, 34. Okay, are you right by by him now? Yes. Okay, please put your phone on speaker so your hands are free to help. Can I add his dad to the call? He's trying to call me back because I called him first before I called you. Okay, so we need to help. We need to help your boyfriend now. Okay, listen carefully. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. He is not waking up. Quit. Ma'am? Yes. Okay, you gotta get him to the floor. Lay him flat on his back on the floor and remove anything under his head. Flat on his back on the floor? Yes, ma'am. Help me. He's not here. Yeah, he, he Were not, you able to get him cool. to the floor? Yes, he not. His heart not be like anything. Now, Rich Homie Kwan's brother provided a statement to the police. Rich Homie Kwan's brother told the police that he woke up at 3 a.m. and noticed the rapper asleep on the floor by the kitchen with food in his mouth, according to the incident report. The officer said his brother informed him it was very unusual and he picked him up off the floor and put him on the couch. The respondent officer said he did not see any foul play when he got home. The respondent officer also said that Rich Homie Kwan did not appear to be alert, conscious, or breathing when he arrived to the home to check on him. Now fans pointed out the shady dealings with not only the 911 dispatcher pretending that she couldn't hear. Sorry, are you saying he's not breathing? Is that correct? I'm not hearing you. Yes, yes. But also questioning why his brother didn't seek medical attention for his brother, Rich Homie Kwan. Now, so many questions behind his findings. 
Was he not breathing when you found him on the floor and placed him on the couch? Was he choking while food was lodged in his mouth? He mentioned to the officer it was very unusual. Why not call someone to help you out or wake up his girlfriend slash baby mama to get further assistance? Was he in shock? Was he jealous of his brother's success? It's so many questions behind these findings. I ain't gonna say I wouldn't stand the phone, but the phone ain't even priority, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I apologize, though, brother. I got beats for your project. Send them to my DM. You I, I know you see everyone tagging you for turn. When? Turn that my man. When they tag me for turn. I'm such a procrastinator. I be had to get her early, like uh, it's a little cold outside. I put my robe on. I'm on. I'm on tour next week. You know I'm gonna tap in with you out there. All right, that's that's. Hey, bring some of that. You know what I'm talking about. You know what I'm talking about. I ain't gonna even say it on here, but you know exactly what I want. <coughs> you know exactly what I want, man. Hold on, Twitch. I'm gonna be right back, Twitch. Hold on. I play my music for y'all though. I'm just play this for y'all. Chat, chat, come back. I'll be right back, chat. Am I going to be in Tampa soon? Turn out, turn in jail. I'm gonna go ball one up. All right, turn in jail. Uh man, somebody get me turned over, bro. I'm getting turned out. So, hey, somebody DM me on the turn people so I can get my boy out. Nigga, know this shit. That my, that my real dog. Who got turned phone? I've been blowing on gas, bro. I've been blowing on gas, bro. I been blowing on gas. Man, I'm telling you what the French look like, nigga. I got, I got dogs, dog. I saw y'all jumping my dog and shit, man. <laughs> it was all cool. You can jump on my dog. I can wake up like this. And I can scream this loud because this is my house. Better than they can't do that, man. Y'all be doing all that pipe, man. Come on, man. Y'all had definitely growing. But I don't be having a lot of people in my head, nigga. We look just alike. Add me on. Hold on, I got to add it. I won't let the people see if you look just alike me. Hold on, go live. Don't judge this. Please be the judge. Turn the light on. What up, cry? Put the phone on your face. Hello. What y'all think? Y'all don't know. You might go a little bit, bro. Uh, you know what I'm saying? You pull the dreads. Man, what y'all think, chat? Bro, I mean, I'll just put the dreads in. If I had the dreads out, so the guy... Every... No, I had something in that motherfucker, man. No. You do good in the universe. You know, universe be back good to you, man. Man, I ain't going to lie, man. I seen a nigga follow me yesterday. Boy, in the DM, you know, the blue check. This nigga had 900 followers. Everybody getting them blue check now, man. I, gotta go. I don't know. Just take my blue check off. They took my blue check off of uh, Twitter. I ain't get Elon no money. Fuck that, Elon. I want my shit back. Goon talk. What's up, brother? You bought one of it? Yeah, man. I know. I, 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 I know 
ain't gonna bless up. Hey, after y'all go to the Twitch, I'm gonna get up off the head. I'm gonna put the uh. Yeah, man. I, man, you know Houston, my stack on. That's for me. I got a package. Ah, my man. Told you. Y'all doing good. How about yourself, man? Me neither, bro. Hey man, we blessed, man. Thank you, brother. Thank you. Told y'all I had something. I knew. No, I had something in that motherfucker. Man. No. Be wishing my fans or requesting more. But yeah, that's the, you know what I'm saying? That's that's what it is. So. When you're in the future, I'm gonna release that music. I don't know, we're gonna load on. Uh, let me play some beats, bro. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna go up there. I'm gonna get on Twitch, man. I'm gonna put the. Go tell my story. Um, you know my Twitch name, on What is it? Twitch.com for every time I'm going to get it. Let's get in the live. Yeah, bro, what's up, bro? <clears throat> Troy, what's up, man? Juan, what's good? What's up? How you feeling? I'm great, man. I'm great. Great. You can hear me good? Yep, I can hear you good. Stand up. I ain't gonna say I wanna stand the phone, but the phone ain't in priority, you feel me? You know what I'm saying? I apologize though, brother. I got beats for your project. Send them to my DM. Yeah, I know you see everyone tagging you for turn. Wait, turn that my man. What they tagging? Yo, what up? It's Mr. X to the Z exhibit YTB. Just keep it going.